Every once in a while I have a viewer suggestion that absolutely resonates with me. A uh, viewer suggested making Pycrete out of Kevlar. And we're going to find out if this material is bulletproof or if you prefer bullet resistant. But heck, even air resists bullets, right? In our testing we go through quite a few of these expired Kevlar body armor panels. Inside these panels are these layers of woven Kevlar. I believe there's 10 or 12 layers of these depending on the rating of the vest. The strands have a very high tensile strength and this resists breakage. When these strands are woven together and the layers are stacked on top of each other, the structure acts just like a net, a very strong net. Now this will stop the bullet that the vest is rated to stop, but the energy will still go through and that will often injure the wearer. Now in our test, we're gonna take just the strands of Kevlar and pack them together into more or less a bird nest configuration. Now I searched through the comments trying to find the person who suggested this idea. I couldn't find it. I apologize, but you know who you are. Now it actually took longer than I expected to unravel that amount of Kevlar. And once we had it packed in there, we just filled it with water, made sure that we had no air pockets and all that stuff, and then just tossed it in the freezer. So will our Kevlar Pycrete be able to stop any bullets? Let's find out. For the first test, we'll be using 22 long rifle, 45 grain, round nose, subsonic bullets. All right, the first shot was a little to the right. I really should have let him take some practice shots. But as you can see, the bullet was deflected and ended up hitting the table and flew off into the air. Let's take another shot and see if we can get a more direct hit. Here we go. Eh, a little bit right from where I was aiming, but there's a point of impact. It's hard to see, but you can feel it. No exit. Okay. See the surface of it starting to melt, so we need to <laughs> now move along here. Let's move go to along. the nine millimeter. Let's rotate it around and try for a fresh side. Okay. Shot number two was more of what we were looking for, more a direct hit, and the Kevlar Pycrete had no problem stopping that bullet. Now we'll use 115 grain full metal jacket nine millimeter parabellum out of this Chiapa nine millimeter carbine. Yeah, it's really called Chiapa, but I call it Chiapa because it's the worst gun I've ever bought. Up. Oh. This gun has terrible sights, it jams a lot, and I wish I never bought it. Now despite the gun, Danny did a pretty good job landing in a pretty solid area of the Pie Creek, but it went through on this shot. As we progress along, the Kevlar Pycrete is melting and it's getting more and more beat up each time we shoot it. Now we'll shoot through the full length of the Kevlar Pycrete and we put a ceramic tile behind it to show if anything comes through. All right, the ceramic tile did not break. The shot placement was much better on this shot. That's a hard gun to aim properly, folks, trust me. So it appears that the Kevlar Pycrete did stop this bullet. Bench rest revolver there. We gotta do a whole video on that thing. What do you, what do you got there? 44 Magnum, seven and a half inch barrel. Ruger Super Red Hawk. Oh yeah. Danny's shot placement of the 44 Magnum couldn't have been any better, right in the center. And that pretty much did in our Kevlar Pycrete block. Now according to Clint Eastwood, a 44 Magnum will blow a man's head clean off. But did our Kevlar Pycrete catch it? Well there's our 22 and there is our 44 Magnum bullet. Now that is pretty impressive, but note I did not find any of the 9mm bullets in this melted Kevlar Pycrete. We could not have produced this video without the help of our patron supporters. 
This is a list of our latest patrons. We just surpassed 800 supporters, and that just blows me away. Our budget is still very limited as our ad revenue continues to be choked off month by month. Your support has made the difference between this channel even existing or just giving up like so many other channels have. We've started doing monthly giveaways over on Patreon to give back, and we've given away things like the broken flare gun, and for April, we're giving away one of the Apollo capsule slugs. Very rare. Thanks for supporting us.